and enter discount Marilyn Manson. In this world crisis, so many people are panicking and there is mass confusion as people are coming up with conspiracy theories and supposed hidden agendas. Supposed. <laughs> supposed hidden agendas. And uh, there's nothing theoretical about the conspiracies. But what I'm going to do is show you the real hidden agenda that you have to know about. And what is your source of information, dude? You pull it out of your ass? That's sure as fuck what it looks like from here. Before we look at the real hidden agenda, what I want to do is point out to you how crazy it is for people to say that this was planned by the rulers of this world. I would say planning, but it looked like it kind of backfired. Um, but yeah, let's let's hear your explanation, dude. That is insane. This crisis is exactly the opposite of what the rulers want. This crisis is causing a great awakening that is revealing the cracks in their system. Now, yeah, people no longer trust the uh, the H. Uh, the WHO, or the um, AKA the World Health Organization, um, people don't trust uh, the mainstream nar narrative anymore. So I'll give you credit on that. Not only is this displaying the failures of capitalism and how the world currently places profit over people. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Gee, th th this is where you're starting to fuck up, dude. You don't know the difference between capitalism and corporatism? Well, let me explain it. Capitalism is what brings people out of poverty. Capitalism works from the ground up, and it encourages competition. Corporatism works from the top down and encourages monopolization. Those are diametrically opposing forces. Now, what's been going on in the last past four years is that globalism, which is a natural outreach of corporatism, is falling apart. Okay? Um, so, obviously, you haven't been paying attention, or you're not as intelligent as you want people to think you are, or most likely it's a combination of both. But this, according to current studies, targets the elderly and predominantly men. The rulers of this world are in the majority old men. Everything that the rich elite rulers fear is coming to pass. Oh really? You mean like locking everything down? Uh, you notice that it's the mom and pop shops that are suffering. The large box stores seem to be doing pretty fine. So it seems to me like this is working rather favorably for the corporatists or the globalists, um, considering the fact that this is a global effort, a global quarantine. And as far as targeting older white men, don't you think that the rulers wouldn't have the, um, the antidote? or would find a way to keep themselves from being infected, like living in a bunker, all right? It's prominently affecting old, white, poor men, all right? So get your head out of your ass and pay attention. Their hidden agenda is to survive. Their hidden agenda is to maintain the control that they've had. Their hidden agenda is to make sure that you don't realize that they are shitting their pants right now. They <laughs> oh, no, dude, I think most of them are probably laughing their asses off right now. If any reason why they would be shitting their pants is because they push their agenda too fast, too far, and it's exposing things to the masses. People are waking up, all right? Had they, had they done the, like a slow creep, um, you know, had uh, Hillary won the 2016 election, maybe. But, you know, I'm sorry, dude, but this is the opposite of uh, 
what you think. They don't care what conspiracy theory you buy into as long as you are distracted from what's staring you in the face, their failure and their fear. And their lapdogs are doing everything to go out and propagate their old world the way. You mean like the MSMs, uh, CNN, and MSNBC, those guys? Yeah, they've been trying to propagate that, but look at their numbers. The ratings have been falling through the floor, okay? Um, it was the only place people ever watched CNN was when they were stuck in an airport, but oh fuck, all the airports are shut down now. <laughs> things were. How brainwashed do you have to be to go out, protest, armed, so that you can support your masters? Again, dude, you are not paying attention. <clears throat> they go out and protest, and they do it armed to drive the point home that they will not tolerate being having their, their livelihood shut down. Alright? They will not tolerate being told what to do, where to go, you know, people are sick of the bullshit, and it's wearing off fast. Again, you're not paying attention, are you? So that you can risk your life and beg to work for the slave drivers. They have people... No, the uh, quote-unquote working for the slave drivers are considered essential. Okay, it's the people who are trying to independently support themselves and their families that are deemed non-essential. Uh, so you just proven to everybody that your age and IQ is the same number. People so well trained that they would give up their lives for the economy and the survival of capitalism. Yes, dude, capitalism, not corporatism. And people need to survive, they need to contribute, they need to make society function. I don't know why that's such a foreign concept to you. And big business. Capitalism is in its death throes and it should be helped to it. A popular aphorism says, that which can be destroyed by the truth should be. The truth is being exposed and capitalism is being destroyed. No, dude, you're exposing yourself as a fraud, okay? Hence, the reason why you need a fucking gimmick to get attention. I mean, what, you're trying to look like a Pleiadian or a vampire? Uh, I'm voting on the latter, but because you remind me of the dudes that used to get laughed out of goth clubs in the mid-90s. Just saying. And it should be left to burn. The insanity lies with those who are denying the clear reality of the situation. Projecting much? Those who say, don't be afraid, just go outside. They are the true people of fear, not... Maybe because they know that the overwhelming majority, if they catch it, if they get any symptoms, it'll be mild. And it's also a well-known fact that going outside, breathing fresh air, and sunlight kills the virus. Um, so, your ignorance is blinding, you fucking idiot. The ones who stay inside, those who go out are terrified of change. They're terrified of a new world. They want everything to stay old, exactly how it was. So they preach to go outside and just close your eyes to what's going on. Thus saith the people of fear. Says the fear monger. Really? Their agenda is simply to maintain the world as it was. They're not trying to create a new world order. Dude. They've been trying to push a new world order since the uh, mid-18th century. And it's been working incrementally, little by little, okay? Um, <laughs> you know, three world wars, including the Cold War. Um, and 
I don't know, dude. If you all the surveillance state has been suddenly increasing, um, people's freedoms being taken away at an accelerated pace, and you are oblivious to this. Why? They're trying to maintain their grip and the control of their old world order. So what is the real hidden agenda? We are the real hidden agenda. We don't want the old world. We embrace change. We want to create a new world order. Oh, showing your true colors. An order in which everything is exactly the opposite of how it once was. Where nothing is the same. Where the inept and the rich are removed from power. We wish to create a new world that is a unified and meritocratic world. This world so in other words, you want the poor and inept to run the world. How the fuck is that supposed to work? The world has never been led by those who are truly compassionate, rational, and meritable. It has only been led by those who have manipulated and conned their way to the top. We are the real hidden agenda, the new agenda. But we are only a hidden agenda because the world doesn't know about it yet. We want everyone to know about our agenda, and that is to establish a new world where everyone is treated as a living mind, where this world is looked at as a living entity, a living, thriving organism, a mind, and not as a factory, not as a machine, not as something to kill and squeeze the life out of to drip the last drops of profit from the blood of this world. Yeah, I might agree with you on that, except I don't see you coming up with any brilliant solutions. Friedrich Nietzsche said the weak and the botched shall perish, and one should help them to it. The old world is weak and botched, and it's hanging over the cliff. And one should not try and save it and return the world to the way it was, yet push it, let it fall, let it be destroyed, let it be torn asunder on the rocks below, so that we may create a new world, one that values human life instead of valuing profit um that was the way the world worked before the rise of corporatism um which was prior to the industrial revolution um uh, more or less so obviously dude you're not very well educated are you so join us as we create this new world, a conscious collective, a new humanity, and a new earth. So humanity needs to get its collective head out of its ass. Stop worrying about crazy conspiracies. Stop focusing on 5G and focus... Yeah, you're saying that now. Just wait until you die of radiation sickness or cancer or all the other shit associated with like a 60 uh, gigahertz uh, frequency or a terahertz frequency, which is what uh, the naked body scanners at airports use. Um, yeah, you're saying that now. Wait till it's implicated in, uh, when there's a 5G tower right outside of your bedroom and you get uh, testicular cancer. Um, so, you're full of shit. Focus on the real problem, the real enemy, the capitalistic system, the rich elite rulers, and everything that was done wrong in the old world. It's time to look to the future, not try and preserve the past. Don't and those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Don't spread conspiracy. Don't deny modern medicine. All of these things are just distractions. Every day more stupidity is revealed. Yeah, dude. Go take your, your gene therapy. <coughs> I mean, your your vaccine. Like, the good little sheeple that you are. Like, you want the people following you to, to do. 
and more evil is exposed. It's time to say that we have had enough. Yeah, dude, we've had enough of scam artists like you. We've had enough of people with a gimmick who try to sound intelligent, who pretend to have access to some sort of metaphysical secrets that you just pulled out of your ass to make people think you're something that you're not, okay? You're a wannabe. You're fucking pathetic. So help us spread our message to the world. Help us share this information and inspire humanity to what it can become if we work together. We look at this world as a community of free beings with infinite potential within each and every one of us. And we wish to build a society that maximizes, actualizes, and brings out that potential in each and every one of us. This world, this culture, this society has no goals. There is no goal. If there's a goal, all it is is to make money. How little you think of people that make up the society. How narrow-minded and insufferable. Okay, how fucking very egotistical of you to assume that people only care about making money. No, dude, people care about making money so they can support their their families, okay? So they can feed their children. All right? Money is a means to an end. It's not the, the primary goal. We will build a world unified by the grandest of goals, and that is by actualizing the potential in each and every one of us to create marvelous works of art out of every individual in this world. Yeah, you fucking moron. That's what people are trying to, to do. The problem is corporations get in the fucking way. We're obviously paying you a lot of money because I don't see you getting a day job with that uh, with that hair of yours. All right. So uh, go fuck yourself. So we are the real hidden agenda. We are the true new world order. The old rich elites, their hidden agenda is to simply keep you from seeing them shaking in their boots. And they don't want a new world. Well, their agenda also includes paying uh, shills like you to propagate this type of propaganda. Because it's very counterintuitive, and honestly, you've been saying a whole lot of nothing through uh, about every every uh, video you've made. Um, so, you know, a bunch of word salad, all right? They want to keep the old world order from dying. It's time to throw out the old and bring in the new. So what about you? Are you someone that fears the new and wants everything old to remain in place? Or are you someone that embraces the new and will help create the new? From the old comes the new. Okay, it's a constant recycling. Old ideas meets new ideas. And whichever is the better ideas went out. Apparently, you, what, you've been living in, in a cave your whole life? You're not aware of this? A simple observation, dude. It's time for a world that's not treated like a machine or a factory, but a living, thriving unity. And it's funny. You know who said almost those exact words? Charles Manson, Adolf Hitler, Paul Pot, Mousy Tongue. Hmm. So, what is your agenda, Moog? Considering the fact that you named yourself after a synthesizer, that's kind of telling. Join us as we create a radical new vision of the future. A world that is different in every way from the old. And how are you going to get the resources to accomplish that? Okay? By... That requires a lot of financial resources and a lot of manpower. Seems to me like 
you have all the characteristics of a cult leader. Is uh, that what you're trying to do? You know, when is the last time this has actually been successful, by the way? Huh? You and what army or what nation, okay? You're fucking deluded, all right? Make sure you share this video and help us spread this information. Watch these videos here to know more about who we are and subscribe to this channel to stay updated. If you enjoy my work, consider supporting on Patreon so I can bring you even more content. My name is Morg and I am Hyperion. Ad Astra to the stars. My name is Moog and I'm a Hyperion. Can you get any more cultish than that? Okay, fucking unbelievable. Thanks for exposing yourself.